this is Rob from ChainsawGuitarTwitter.net. Today we're going to be talking about a technique that is almost the defining feature of any shred player. I say almost because there are some out there that don't do it. Um, it's guaranteed to impress your audience and probably other guitarists as well. I'm talking of course about sweep picking. Sweep picking is the technique of playing several notes across several strings with a single motion of the picking hand, so you kind of almost strum across the strings. At the same time, your fretting hand will be holding down notes on the fretboard. The important thing here is both hands move in unison, so you get a clean single note sound out of the guitar rather than a strummed chord. When done correctly, this is a very good way to get a very fast arpeggio sound, um, but it can be used for other things, um, scale playing and melodic stuff as well. Although the technique is probably best known for heavy metal and shred, uh, it was originally pioneered by jazz guitarists Chuck Wayne and Tal Farlow in the 1940s and then it was developed even further by Frank Gambale in the 1980s. In fact, Frank originally used the technique to transfer licks and like things you'd play on a piano or a saxophone onto the guitar, um, because sometimes the finger ends are very, very difficult to get on a guitar and it's difficult to get a certain string of notes fast, so uh, obviously sweep picking was the answer. He also made lots of books on the subject, uh, most famously Speed Picking, which I'm linked to down below on my website, uh, which fe features a real 80s front cover. That's a museum piece almost. As I said before, sweet picking is mostly used, the majority of it is used for arpeggios, which are chord tones played in ascending or descending order. So it's a good idea to know your caged chords in different places on the neck before continuing this. This technique is often uh, combined with other legato style techniques. So there I was adding in a hammer on and a pull off. You can also add in the tap. So this technique can also be used to play faster melodic stuff. So you could play um, kind of that kind of. Or full scales. It's another way to do a cool kind of run. I'm just sweeping down the strings as I'm going across. So that's another use for this. Of course, if you really want to use this for uh, heavy metal and shreds and stuff, you want to use distortion. But be careful not to use too much because I've heard so many players play shred and sweep picking and they've got so much gain on the amp or their pedal that all you hear is kind of a or kind of fuzzy mess and you don't want that. Um, you Maybe six or seven on the amp, um, going up to eight is kind of pushing it, but you can still get away with it. If you're putting the gain up to ten, um, you shouldn't be. You, the, you just blurred everything into one, and what you need for sweep picking is to hear the individual notes. Okay, it's still going to stand up, but um, they're going to be individual notes you're going to hear, and not just a fuzz. Okay, we don't want fuzz. The guitarists who use this technique include Ingwe Malmsteen. Michelangelo Batio, uh, John Petrucci, Chris Broderick, Richie Blackmore, Tosin Abassi, Frank Gambale, uh, Steve Hackett, Sean Lane. It's a fairly long list. It's a, quite a popular technique and as I said at the beginning of this, it's that technique that makes people stand out as, wow, this person can shred, even though once you've got it, it's no more difficult than any other technique. It's a bit more advanced, maybe, but it still just takes practice. If you go to my website, I've got tabs for everything I've mentioned here. I've also got some more advanced stuff, so some bigger sweeping shapes, and talk about adding in some tapping and some uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs. And if you've got any questions, just leave them below. And until then, I'll see you next time.